guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today I'm gonna make a DIY marble clock. Why, might you ask? Well, I need a clock in my bathroom because I'm always running late, and I can't seem to find a good size clock that is marble and gold, um, so I thought, why not make one, and why not take you guys along while I make it and show you how I did it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the materials, then we're gonna get into the steps, and we're all gonna do this fun project together because it's going to be fabulous and it's gonna save us money, so that's even better. But first, why don't you click subscribe? You're gonna need a wood round with a hole in the center. I found mine at Michael's, but you can get it at any craft store. A clock kit with the second, minute, and hour hands. An AA battery. An X-Acto knife. Be sure to use this with adults if you're under 18. Some paint brushes and some white paint. And marble contact paper. So first you're gonna take your marble contact paper. You're gonna spread it out. Put your wood round in the center. And just cut a strip off, like that. Then, you're gonna peel the backing off of the marble contact paper, like so. And you're gonna stick the wood round directly on it. Don't worry about there being bubbles, you can fix that later. You're gonna get that nice and strong. Push it down. Then, you're gonna take your X-Acto knife, trim along the edge of the circle, if you put your wood round down, then you trim along the outside, you'll get a perfect edge. The key is to use a really sharp blade, but once you're done trimming, you can always trim off excess if you left any after. So, pretty simple. Okay, so now you'll see you can lift it up and you can smooth all those air bubbles out with your fingers. If you have like a caulking knife or a painter's knife, you can also use that too, but it's a small surface. So your hands will work just fine. Then taking your knife, you're going to run it along the edge like this, and you can just trim the edges right off. So the key is you always want to leave more than less because if you cut too much, then you're in trouble. But if you run the blade right along the side, the wood, that's why I said you need a good sharp knife. Ta-da! Okay, so now we need to cut the hole in the center. So using the X-Acto knife, I'm gonna make an X right in the middle and then use the edge of my paintbrush to push it through. You can kind of push each corner to the side. Before we start adding in the clock, we're gonna use white crafting paint and we're gonna paint the edges of the wood. Then you're going to let it dry, and then you move on to making the clock. Also, if you guys want, you can use spray paint. You can spray paint it beforehand, but I did not have white spray paint on hand, so... If you get a little bit on the top, just use a paper towel. You can wipe it off. White on white marble, you're never going to be able to tell. It's better to do the marble first and then the paint because it actually seals the edges, so it helps it stick to the wood better. Okay, one tip, I did the wrong thing when I first bought this. On each clock, it'll say like the size. So mine is a 3 4 inch block of wood. So make sure you get the clock piece that says 3 4 inch. That way, it's long enough to go through the entire thing. So then you're gonna build the clock according to the instructions on the back of the instruction manual on the clock kit. Then, when you hang it, let's say it is 12-15. If you guys want to put numbers, you can. Every clock kit does come with numbers, but I think it would kind of make it a little cheesy, so I kind of like it being clean and balanced. Look how cute that is. I'm gonna hang this on the wall, and then we're all done. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys thoroughly loved this DIY clock that we just made. I know Tyler's gonna appreciate it, because I'll be more in time to things. But yeah, it was super fun, super simple, and I will link all of those items that I use below, um, either from Amazon or from Michaels. But you can really get it at any craft store. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video, 
Follow on Instagram. I'm going to leave my handle below. It's just Shara Robeson, my maiden name. My new last name is Stevens, but the Instagram handle is still Shara Robeson. And uh, subscribe to this channel because we post great things. And Scout and I, you know, we're great on Snapchat and Instagram, so you should go check us out, right? Right. Ooh. Right. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.